Due to a popular request from several people, we are going to do a web browsing experience on the Kobo H2O. What we're going to do is navigate through Google to go to Wikipedia, we'll go back to Google, look at an image, load the image, and that'll pretty much be it because that'll encompass looking for images, typing things in, navigating from page to page, all the essentials of navigating on a web browser, but this just so happens to be an e-reader, so let's see how it fares. So we're going to type in Wikipedia. I'm just going to power through it even though it's flickering. All right. Flicker. Wow. It flickers quite a bit, but it is getting there very quickly. Very quickly. That flickering can be a little bit distracting though. don't really know where it is you see it kind of is just doing its own thing let's click on the Kobo e-reader boom lightning fast all right let's navigate through this page a little bit scroll down it doesn't have any inertia so as you throw it it just kind of stops So let's go back to Google and we'll check out a picture. All right, we're going to look at Kobo H2O and press enter. Let's refresh the page. So it didn't do it right away, it had to be refreshed. Oh, goody readers right there, interesting. We're gonna go to look at an image. And we'll just click on this image. And we'll see what kind of functionality we have. So we have a zoom that doesn't quite work on images. We have keyboard, home, add to favorites, set as home page. So last thing we're going to do is go to a website, go back to Google. This is a raw look, we're not doing any cuts or anything like that, so this will be as fast as you see it here. Just going to type in Kobo. Let's see how well the zoom function works on a web page. Now the thing really plays catch up. So we've zoomed in. Let's go all the way out to the reveal as much page as we can. Let's do some navigation. So you do have some navigation like that. Let's try some usual things that we do. No pinching and zooming capabilities. There is a double tap zoom, so that's kind of handy, but no pinching and zooming. So we're going to have to use a zoom bar at the bottom. So all in all, it does get there pretty quickly. You've seen it yourself. If you think this will be a valid e-reader for web browsing, uh, this has been a look at it. So please let us know if we flew over anything, if you want us to look at anything else on the Kobo H2O. And as for a good e-reader, thanks for watching. We really want to thank all of our users here at youtube.com slash goodyreader who watch our content each and every day. We really appreciate it. A lot of familiar names pop up every day, especially in the comments section, and that's what we love, building a community to really talk about everything e-reader, tablets, digital publishing related. We have a lot of cool things going on right now. If you check up top over there, right about 
there you're gonna see all of the Kobo H2O stuff and I have it right here as well this is an exclusive that Goody Reader has we have an advanced copy and we have been reviewing this and comparing this against pretty much everything we can think of if you check right kind of this direction you're gonna see the Sony DPTS one that is the Sony 13 inch uh, electronic device not really an e-reader it reads only pdfs but if you want to check out all the coverage on that that is definitely worth checking out and over there directly to my side is the samsung galaxy tab 4 nook this is barnes and noble's next generation device they contracted samsung to build all the hardware but it is the successor to the nook hd ask me anything i got a tablet around here i bet but anyways thank you guys very much we appreciate you guys watching all our stuff keep on watching goodyreader.com